So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here and uh, today I would like to talk about uh, ring the microscope slides and uh, why um, some people choose uh, to actually put a ring um, around the cover glass here. Uh, what we have here, these are commercially made uh, microscope slides and uh, many of uh, the slides in the slide sample do not have this ring, however some of them do. And uh, the question is now, well, yeah, why, uh, why is there a ring around it? I also want to show you um, some antique microscope slides. This is, this is actually quite uh, really nice. Look at those here. Um, here they are also ringed and not only that, uh, but uh, actually they have a color pattern here. So uh, the ring is also used for uh, yeah, aesthetic reasons. So it looks nice and also for branding purposes. Um, yeah, and uh, they look uh, quite uh, quite nice here. However, those rings actually do also have a, an important uh, functional role. They play an uh, important role in also in stabilizing uh, the specimen. And uh, basically, um, yeah, what it does besides uh, looking just nice is uh, it prevents uh, moisture from the air, humidity from actually reaching the specimen. Um, not only that, but also it also prevents a complete drying out, a complete dehydration of the specimen. So for example, when the slide is placed in a, in a very uh, dry environment, then it can be possible that um, some mounting media, which still retain a little bit of water, that the water evaporates and then essentially it can be that the, um, yeah, the mounting medium starts to crack um, or it starts to shrink. Um, and uh, in order to prevent that, you want to put a, a, um, yeah, a ring um, around it. Um, also, opposite is of course true that uh, when you place the slide in a very humid environment and uh, moisture is able to go in. Um, you want to prevent that, right? Uh, so that is uh, another reason. And then, um, of course, uh, another reason is a physical um, one. I just want to show you over here. This slide here is not ringed. Um, it's a yeah pond water sample. There's some algae on here. Um, and let me put those away here. Um, and uh, the mounting medium that I used here, um, it does not uh, turn completely solid. It's called glycerin gelatin. Um, so it's actually semi-solid. It's like a thick gel um, and it does not dry out, uh, but it uh, maintains uh, moist. And uh, for this reason, actually, it's, it's still flexible, right? And the cover glass, even though it sticks on the slide, is not doesn't stick very tightly, right? So if I wanted to take my fingernail, I could actually lift off and, and pry off uh, the cover glass again. Um, and if you don't want to do that, uh, if you, know, you don't want to do that, obviously, uh, then you have to put a ring around it also to make sure that the cover glass sticks properly on the microscope slide. And then last but not least, of course, um, yeah, there is, of course, a small gap around it, so it could be theoretically possible for bacteria and fungi but spores, for example, to reach the mounting medium and then starts to grow into it, especially because um, it, <clears throat> it retains some water. Now, of course, the mounting medium does contain a disinfectant, in this case, phenol. Some um, other mounting media contain other disinfectants. Um, but um, yeah, you want to make sure that the slide is uh, stable over a long time. And for this reason, it would be a good idea also to put a ring around it. So now, how do you, how do you actually do that? So I, I would like to, to show you now how to ring this here. Um, first of all, you need a slide ring table. Either you buy one or you make one yourself. I've got one over here. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, move up uh, the camera a little bit here and uh, let's take away, let's put away the all of the other slides here because I'll be working with some nail polish so I just want to make sure that um, yeah, it kind of stays uh, safe. I don't want to spill anything uh, yeah, over my uh, table. I'll just show it to you here from the side. Yeah, it looks like this. You can spin this. Um, yeah, some people like to make them. Uh, you can make it yourself using a fidget spinner or some other yeah, uh, method. Yeah, um, I, I made a black uh, circle here simply to help it centering. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this one on here and I have to make sure that this is um, kind of properly you know, centered um, so that when it spins that um, essentially the cover glass yeah, um, is properly aligned. So what I um, would also recommend, and this was also one of the recommendations of my, my, my viewers of the live stream, is, is maybe uh, before putting the cover glass on the slide to actually take a pen, um, yeah, a, a marker, and then maybe put a ring um, around uh, the edge of the cover glass so it's easier to actually see. And what we have here already is a, is a slight problem, um, and that is is that, you see, um, it's not sent properly, so um, essentially, yeah, it will bump uh, yeah on here on, on on the side and i'm not it's not possible for me to ring the slide now so what i have to do is, is i have to make a, a a different slide and i'm also gonna um, basically then put that uh, slide uh, then on here so it actually shows that uh, we are, when making one of those slide ringing tables maybe give it a little bit more flexibility so that the slide uh, even if it's not completely centered the cover glass that you're still able to spin it but right now it's not uh, possible 
Well, I did find another slide here where the cover glass is centered. It's a mosquito wing mounted in a mounting medium called U-Kit. And honestly, it is not necessary to put a ring on here because U-Kit is a resin-based mounting medium. It completely evaporates. Um, yeah, there's a solvent in there. So um, the cover glass sticks very well um, on the microscope slide. Totally not necessary to give it a ring. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway, simply for the sake of demonstration. And this is uh, kind of a sample, uh, just a sample slide here. Um, I want to use um, actually clear nail polish. I've uh, been uh, very successful with uh, clear nail polish. Um, it sticks re reasonably well um, on, on the glass uh, surface um, and uh, also um, yeah, it uh, flows uh, quite nicely um, and easily and it also dries rapidly. Um, however, um, this does take a little bit of patience and uh, a little bit of skill because uh, yeah, uh, if you're not uh, careful then the, uh, the ring is not going to look very nice. As a matter of fact, I did make a couple of other slides already before just to show you a little bit of what might happen yeah, you see it doesn't always look uh, quite nice it, as long as it's functional it's, it's gonna be fine right so um, I'm going to give it a try in any case and even if it doesn't work um, then at least you know how it should work you might want to use a finer brush um, as well and in the past I've also used um, yeah a pipette right um, so and wah, look it, it, it's dripping so Let's spin it and let's um, carefully um, apply. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, it's gonna be kind of fine. Okay. Yeah, you see, uh, it's uh, dangerous. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you have a little bit too much, and probably you would like to use a finer brush um, um, as well. Um, yeah. So basically, the idea is uh, you can experiment uh, around with it, and uh, if it doesn't uh, flow properly, you have to add a little bit of, of sol solvent, a nail polish remover, or acetone, um, and uh, then basically, um, yeah, you'll be you'll be fine. And in the past, I've sometimes also applied the ring several times. I allowed it to dry, and then I applied the second uh, second layer on, on, on top. So the nail polish is now dry so I can put it under the microscope. Always be careful, never put uh, uh, slides with uh, liquid nail polish under the microscope otherwise there's the danger of course of uh, getting some of the nail polish on your microscope objective. Let's have a quick look uh, if uh, the mosquito wing uh, of course still looks nice um, even after um, four, four years. I don't see a reason why not. Yeah, so here, this is the mosquito wing, and what do you notice? It looks very, 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 very bad. <laughs> oh gosh, this is horrible, really. Um, what happened? Uh, look, uh, it's uh, torn apart. It's actually one wing um, that we have here, but actually it's separated into two wings. This was not the way when I mounted the slide uh, yeah, some time ago. Uh, but why is it torn now? And the reason is, is because as the mounting medium dried, um, it exerted a tension, um, a, a strain, on the specimen on the wing and this caused uh, the the wing to rip during the drying process yeah so basically you see um, yeah just because something's mounted uh, properly does not mean that it's also stable over the long term because uh, yeah in this case uh, yeah, the mounting medium the u kit mounting medium in this case evidently was not very suitable that's one of the reasons why you have different mounting media for different specimens u kit is again suitable for other specimens but uh, normally for insects and insect wings you want to use uperol i think that's a, yeah, a completely different uh, different uh, topic uh, for a different video let's just uh, go up with the magnification a little bit yeah and here we can see again um, how it uh, it's ripped and torn yeah um, you get the idea but uh, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to call it a day uh, happy micro hunting uh, hope uh, that the video was informative for you see you in the next video and uh, bye bye